Hey everybody, Jason here. So back in 2014, I had the opportunity to interview some of Canada's elite athletes in sprint, canoe, and kayak. These are the members of Canada's Olympic team. It was a really great privilege to interview these athletes and have a little glimpse into their life and career as athletes. I'm going to be releasing the full interviews from the time I spent with the athletes. And I'm going to start off with Laurence Vincent Lapointe. She's a sprint canoe athlete from Trois-Rivières, Quebec, and incredibly, an eight-time world champion. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, yes, I'm uh, Lawrence Vincent Lapointe, and I do uh, C2 200 meter and C no C1 200 meter and C2 500 meter. So these are my distances. Yes. Uh, what advice would you give a young athlete beginning? Uh, I think the most important thing is that you have to never give up, uh, even if your motivation for it is kind of weird because like. When I started, it was more of staying in the boat, stay in the boat, stay in the boat, because I was really bad at it. It took like two years to stop tipping. And it was more of a kind of selfish motivation. I really wanted to do it. And after that, when I stopped tipping and I started going better, uh, I was really happy. But I mean, at first, it was really stay in the boat. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, it's really... Uh, Motivation, keep at it, and uh, don't 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 let go because of some things like tipping or just the others are faster. Because even if they are faster at young age, you can be a lot better when you get older. So cool. it it doesn't change. It, It's not even an inspiration. Uh, when I was younger, I really wanted to go to, to the Olympics, but in swimming, in synchronized swimming. So after that, I stopped. Well, stopped. In the same time, my friend was going day camp at canoeing uh, at the club. So, well, my friend is there, her sister is there. I'll, like, I will go and it will occupy my days. And I tried and I liked it. And it's not even inspiration because I had complete and I, and I had never thought about doing anything more than just going to the day camp with my friends. But when I started and just decided, decided that I would keep at it and really liked it because most of the people would ask me, why don't you do kayak? And I didn't like to do kayaking. I, I thought it was too boring. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, I really liked canoeing. I was really in love with it, so I just decided to keep at it. And cool. So you found it attractive. You, yeah. you, you loved it. Can you tell us, like, what is it that you love? Um, the thing is, with canoeing, it's it's a sport where you're both um, individual and team working. Uh, you work. You're alone or on, in your boat, and sometimes you're with someone else, but most of the time you're alone. But you work, you train with a lot of other people that are also alone. So it's both, it's both a competition to like train, train, and art. And also it's nice to be with everybody. That I really like. It's kind of family thing. And also I really like the the... Liberty, liberty, no, liberty, liberty. You you gain from being on the water. Uh, it's like you, when you see a river from the, the when you're on the other side, you only see the all the water. But when you're on it, you feel like all the green spaces and all it's open. So I really I really like the feeling of being like on the water. <laughs> And I like aquatic sports also, so I kind of found myself a way to practice on water. Yeah. <laughs> I know if you're on the side, you like 
there's a golf at where I play sometimes at home, and it's the side on it, my river where I train is on the side of the golf. So when you're at the golf, you see trees, a bit of river. When you're on the river, you see everything. So it's so different. It's really nice. I like it. <laughs> yes. Well. Sometimes I, I kind of kid saying that we're masochist, masochists. Ma masochists. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, it's kind of exhilarating. It's because when you start, you do it because you like it and because your friends are there. But sometimes, you, like growing up, you understand that you want to go faster, you want to be better, you want to beat yourself, and you want to know how to do the best you can do, and it comes along I think it, you have to you, you grow up learning to like it uh, like for example if I just started and decided to do competition I would like it but I like it more with the background I have of learning the canoe the universe of the canoe more than just starting and racing I, I mean like race is nice but I I'm really stressed out before my races and I feel bad. So every time I'm like, why do I do that? I'm so stressed out. I don't feel good. But after that, I'm like, I like it. I mean, I want to see how fast I can go. I want to see whatever I can do. But at the same time, it's kind of hurting myself. Like you train, you train, you train. Sometimes you feel bad, you, you throw up and stuff. Which is not the same when you do like only for fun and just, well, it is fun, but it's not the same, like re recreational. I don't know if it answers your... No, it's good. <laughs> is, yeah, you mentioned uh, the stress of competition. Uh, so how have you prepared yourself mentally for competition? Um, usually, I feel like I'm ready. Um, a week before I will be like, oh, I paddle so bad, paddle so bad, it doesn't work. But the day before or the morning before, I feel like I work, I, I'm good, I'm ready to do it. The thing is, like for example, in first trials, I didn't go, do good and I knew I wouldn't go, do good. And it was in my head, I knew I wouldn't do it. So I didn't do it. But the thing is, like I don't prepare myself that much. I just know I can do it. Uh, I know it because when I train, like I know I've done whatever I could do in training. So I mean, you could not prepare if you knew you were not ready for it physically. So it's really a thing of I can do it, <laughs> and I don't know. I just like get ready and stop thinking about it. <laughs> if I think too much, I just feel bad and all my. <laughs> Anyway, sorry. If you're not ready, like in canoe, it's really a thing of being ready physically. But if you're not ready, for example, for an exam, you've not learned enough, you've not studied enough. Well, even if you have the best mental preparation, you won't be able to have the good grades. So I think it's pretty much a lesson in life if you don't prepare for it you won't be able to be, to do it so i think it's most mostly that preparation yeah. planning yeah goals, well preparation preparation brings good results so i think i think that's it yeah cool. um, working hard how do we get more canadians involved in canoe and kayak um i think we've we get we get a lot more each year. Well, not that we see them already, but I think the fact that we have good athletes that work well on the international level, uh, I think it mot motivates young uh, young kids to try it. And if they like it, this, they continue. Like for example, as I said earlier, uh, with you. Um, at my club, there were a bunch of kids, and when they saw, when the first times I won at the world championship, they, they decided they would try canoeing, 
And I mean, it's really a thing of like, if somebody won wins somewhere, the kids will be in interested in it. So I think it's really, if you want to do more canoe kayak and have more kids do it, well, have the results of the, show them it's nice to do it, and then they will try it, I think. Okay, um, how do we get Canadians to the top? Uh, many times before, when I was younger, they would ask me, oh, how can you be like really fast? Like, I don't have, I didn't have in the past any canoe girls to paddle with. And that's exactly that. I didn't have any canoe girls, so I had to train with the kayak, girl, uh, kayak girls and the canoe guys. So I had to be even faster to keep up with them. Like, in the rest, they are so far away, you have to keep, like, get to their, their, where they are. And then they start again, and you're all the way back, and you have to get all the times in the rest, so you don't have a lot of rest and so you work a lot harder so I think it's, it just it helps you getting stronger and even mentally I always thought that I was so slow when I would train with the kayak girls and kayak guys but when I came to the world trial well the Canada trials or the world championship I would be really fast because I would train hard so I think that's all you get to the top. You have to train with somebody that's stronger, well, yeah, stronger than you to keep up and just do your best every time. Is there an ideal paddler? Uh, what, what does that person look like? I think what makes uh, a great paddler is mostly technique. <laughs> it's funny to say because, I mean, there are really good people who don't have the all the perfect technique, but if you look, for example, as at uh, Adam van Coverden, who he's in kayak, but if you look like frame by frame, each of his every movement, you will see that everything is like everything. Everything is never perfect, but most of all technique points we have are all really well done and everything is all flowing through. So I think first is the technique, then you have to have like someone who's really steady mentally. Uh, you cannot just think, oh, I will lose or I'm not sure it will work well. You have to focus and just think you will do it. So I think, for example, Adam, I think he's pretty much the ideal uh, paddler, I'd say, because he's really good and I think he performs well also. Somebody who could be inspired by a canoe kayak, what would you want to tell them? Um, try it. Give it, a, give it a try and you'll like it, I'm sure. It's so nice, it's so... It's a really nice environment and I really like it, so I'm sure you will do also. So just try it. <laughs> yeah. Great. This is Jasmine, by the way. She's our Hi. photographer. Hi. Yeah, it's okay. I kind of understood she was a yeah. photographer. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. No, no worries.